Good morning and happy Tuesday. Michigan, our national champions. We're about to have the second day of the week. Live trading is about to be hot. 13's in the back. We're ready to go. It's time to make some money. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Those words have been dancing around my head all night. I mean, it's Vegas law, that phrase. <laughs> All right, folks, happy Tuesday. I hope that you all had as good of an evening as we did last night here. Go Blue, Michigan National Championship. That closes the book on a long season, ends a long drought. We're all hype about it, and now we get to trade the market. I'm going to bring on my guest, 13. 13, how are you doing this morning? Doing wonderful. That was a wonderful game that I got to watch. Thank you so much for pointing that out to me. Go Blue. All right. Hey, I will take that. I will absolutely take that. Gary, good morning. I know you've got an extra pep in your step here this morning. Now, a uh, cool thing here is let's go ahead and break down the market real quick. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Uh, and let's go ahead and start with the spy. So we, uh, the market here, a uh, little bit weak in the pre-market. We'll see what that ends up bringing for the rest of the day. You can see here on the daily chart, we've pretty much come right back down to the 20 SMA. Yesterday, this is the level that we actually blew through to the upside here with that really big power candle. Uh, looks to me like we're going to test this 480 at some point. It certainly doesn't feel like the market is really going to have a sell-off, but we'll see what materializes here today. 13, I know we've been looking at SPY every day in the happy hour, kind of trying to chart this. Sure looks like 480 is coming, huh? It uh, might be. You know, this was a really big move yesterday, and it was on a lot of news. It was on uh, you know, the Fed's uh, uh, Bostic saying that we we're going to uh, – these rate cuts or the initial rate cut in the third quarter – and uh, maybe this is today we're seeing the, the disconnect being realized because a lot of uh, uh, sentiment is still uh, on the idea of um, rate cuts as early as March. Uh, I think that's wrong. If you look at the uh, Fed watch tool from the CME group, you can see that uh, there's still a, a good uh, at least half the market believes that we're getting our first rate cut in, in, uh, in March. Uh, so I think that disconnect is why we're going to probably have a maybe a red day today. Yeah, I, I would agree with you. It almost feels like the uh, sugar bowl, right? Like you take it away, market kind of just sugar crash. Acts like, acts like a little kid, <laughs> a little bit of a sugar crash there. So we'll yep. see where we end up going uh, here today. Um, we'll definitely watch this. Uh, you know, like I said, it's a little bit weak here in the pre market. We did have Bitcoin moves, so that's likely going to affect the different Bitcoin stocks. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the stocks from the movers tool here to get set up for the day. And then we'll go ahead and run through the chat here, uh, seeing a whole lot of good mornings. Good morning, Gary, Jay, Beach Bum, Becca, Larry, Richard, Order Flow. Let's go. Good morning, Smoke Tuna. Let's go. Let's go get it. Okay. Uh, first one here, uh, uh, ticker JNPR. This is Juniper Networks. Now we got a, you can see we really popped here. We got a news headline here and I've got all sorts of disconnected stuff here. Hang on one sec. Let me go back to the news here and then click on Juniper. Boom. Okay. So yesterday, uh, in the after hours, we got a Wall Street Journal report, or we had a, a news post here that a Wall Street Journal report, Hewlett Packard Enterprises is nearing a deal to buy Juniper Networks. Valuing Juniper at roughly $13 billion could be finalized this week. So we've got more M&A here. This time, Juniper is the target. Um, $13 billion is the acquisition price. Nothing's been finalized yet. So I'm curious to see if there's going to be any trading action here on Juniper. But this is the catalyst that's actually driving it here. Uh, let me flip back to the chart here. We can see we, we really punched up and stopped right around $39.78, so just shy of $40, really kind of pin in this $37 level. Uh, we'll Again, we'll see if we get some action here. Since this is a merger and acquisition, and since it's not finalized, there might still be some movement, but uh, we'll see if we end up getting that here today. That's why Juniper uh, is up. 
Uh, one of the smaller names here that we're likely going to be taking a look at is SNTG. And this uh, popped as high as about 480 earlier in the pre-market, came back beneath the VWAP. You can see now we've actually set new pre-market highs. Uh, just when we set that high, we came back in. Looks like we tried to test it again and came back in. Remember what we've been seeing here. The pulls are uh, often going to be the better entry here. It looks like we might get that on SNTG. I'd love for this to pull back to the VWAP, maybe even break a couple of cents beneath the VWAP and then hold because looking at the chart here, we might actually get another upside trade if we get that set up on SNTG. Now, I didn't see any news earlier on this name. Let me see. Yeah, see, I don't really see anything. Low float getting pushed around, but it is a previous runner. Yeah, I was just going to say, this one's been on the scanner previously. We've seen this one get pushed around. We've seen this one. trade. We've actually traded this one mm -hmm. recently. So uh, another name here we're going to be looking at here today, SNTG. Um, now, next here is going to be GRTX. Uh, GRTX. Let me make sure I type it incorrectly. This is Galera Therapeutics. Hey, 13, check it out. Uh, another biotech stock. This one here is <laughs> Top yesterday. The good news here on the penny stock, again, not playing this myself, but the good news here on the penny stock is that as we sold off, we actually were able to catch and then buy back above the VWAP. So we'll see if this ends up getting rolling here. GRTX, your penny play of the day. A uh, couple more here to roll through. BTBT, BT, this popped here. This thing's doing nothing but leaking. I'd be very, very careful with this. We've seen some of these stocks that really pop in the pre market and really kind of give it up. Sometimes they form some type of tradable bottom later in the day we'll see if we get that here on btbt or btbd excuse me bravo tango bravo delta uh, we'll see if we end up getting a setup here but i keep this one on the back burner we've got some other uh more appropriate targets right out of the open field. Uh, one of those appropriate targets is going to be mcrb and this is theres Ceres therapeutics i beg your pardon Sarah's therapeutic shares are trading higher after the company announced preliminary VOWST launch metrics and FDA fast track designation for one of their therapeutics, SER-155. You can see that's popping MCRB here today. In the pre-market, we've got a series of higher lows, which looks pretty good. We have a pre-market high here of 227. We're doing a really good job of holding right around the VWAP. We also happen to be holding right around that round $2 level. If as long as we can hold this into the open, Maybe we get some expanding volume here and a potential trade. First thing that we're going to watch for, without a doubt, is going to be that 203 level. Next, we'll look at 215 and then that pre-market high of 227. All of those levels in play here today if the stock can maintain its upside momentum. This, this one may short squeeze. It has a high short interest, but it's uh, days to cover is slightly less than five. Okay, so here we go. This is what 13 is just talking about. 30% of its float shorted. That is of the most recent reading at the end of 2023. Days to cover 4.49. Generally speaking, 13, we like to see five or higher on that yeah. days to cover. Better still if it's 10 or higher. Uh, we don't have that here, although a considerable amount of the float shorted. So we'll see. Low price stock here too. Sometimes these stocks get jammed, right? Some of these low, low price stocks, high short interest, start trading up, force uh, traders to cover, and then we kind of jam them. We'll see if that ends up happening here on MCRB. What was the share structure here? I've got a float of about 68 million, so this is not a low float. Mm -hmm. It's going to trade a little bit thicker. It is worth noting, however, on average, we trade just about 4.2 million shares already today. We've traded just under 12 million shares. So uh, already in the pre-market prior to the open, we're three times the average volume. Uh, MCRB likely to be in play because of that. Um, I'm just going to keep running down the list here real quick. Uh, next one here is going to be S Y R a, uh, this stock 3.9 million, uh, float here. So again, my church becoming disconnected here real quick. Uh, let's go back here. S Y R a, you can see we actually popped and we've dropped and round tripped all the way to kind of where we finished yesterday. So as long as we break don't, excuse me, as long as we don't break down beneath the 140 level, it's possible that this one firms up and has a gap close to that VWAP. We'll see if we end up getting it here. This is another one that we kind of want to put on the back burner, right? We really want the volume to tell the story on this. There's no reason to enter this trade unless the volume's telling us that we have an impending upside move here. Um, $1.48 stock short at your own risk. That doesn't fit my investment thesis. This looks like uh, a relative play, SYRA. Re relative volume play. Yes. Yeah. Based on yesterday, um, mm -hmm. sure looked like it had kind of a bigger day. And the other thing is, is that we popped above the level that we 
that we had been in previously. This goes back to what, the beginning of December. So we actually cleared that out. The good news here is that when we've come back in, again, we didn't really break down. If we break down, that's going to change the look on this one. We'll see if we end up uh, getting an upside move here. Um, let me just keep going through. I, I didn't actually look at some of these smaller gainers here, but let's see. This is notable labs. Looks like this popped as high as 190 and really kind of fell off. Did the same thing yesterday, and we're at that same level just about uh, down here about 150. Uh, I see boil moving here, nat gas. Uh, if you guys figure out nat gas, you let me know. I still haven't figured out nat gas. See Tilray up here a little bit. ELTX, I saw someone else mention that here in the chat. Uh, Gene. Uh, good morning, Gene. ELTX. Now, this thing's wild. This thing popped as high as 21. All, come all the way back in here. What happened on ELTX here? Uh, looks like Na Nature Medicine publishes an updated preliminary phase one data from Elysio Therapeutics Amplify-201 phase one solid tumor study. So it looks like they've got some data from a, uh, in a Nature magazine regarding solid tumors. Uh, that popped it initially. This drop kind of scares me off. Um, Great that we didn't really continue to break down, but again, uh, big pop, big regression. We'll see if we can close that I, the web. The, this, the, one, the 13, one, one, one sec here. The one thing to note here is that if we get another trade like we did here when we come back to the VWAP, this struggle, this actually had three tests at the VWAP and was unable to make it through. That's one of the things that we're going to look at should we test it a fourth time. 13, sorry for cutting you off there, my man. No, it's okay. I was trying to interrupt you. Uh, <laughs> it looks like this may also be a, a relative volume play, but I don't have a read on the float, but I can see the... Uh, uh, the total shares outstanding is 9.6 million. So I'm inclined to believe that this is also getting pushed around. So we'll see on ELTX again, um, the volume, let, let's let the volume tell the story here. Yeah. We don't want, we don't want to be in any one of these, these big time sell-offs. And you can see uh, when we actually tried to bounce here, this was fairly orderly. We, you'd have been able to get out of this should you wanted to change your plan or if it doesn't work out. So, uh, okay, let's go ahead. Uh, 13, did you have any stocks that you want me to go over before I, I asked the chat here to throw some, uh, well, let's see. Stickers out? The only things I had were SNTG, BTBD, uh, AURA. I don't think that I don't know. No, we didn't cover about. that one. Let me bring that up here. AURA. I'm not sure what this is moving on. Uh, it doesn't seem like any of the things that I was mentioning before, like high short interest, low float, relative volume. It doesn't seem like it's moving on any of those. So I don't know what this is going on. Um, then we had uh, MCRB, JNPR, and then uh, that was all that I had on my list for today. Okay, so looks like we're that we pretty much covered everything. Uh, this one here on AURA, yeah, not low float at all, still under its average volume here. Although we're just at about half of that, we'll see what, what that gets going here. Uh, folks out in the chat, what are you folks looking at here today? Is there any stocks that you want to cover? Uh, big cap, smaller cap, uh, whatever it might be. Let me know. Um, and let's see what else. Let's see. Uh, you covering stocks above 10 bucks? Sure. Jay, what stocks do you want to take a look at um, here today? We actually already covered Juniper uh, as, as of this morning, but would love to hear what else you're taking a look at here today. Um, Hasma wants to take a look at the XLE. Uh, you know, it's funny, 13, we've actually been talking about some of these uh, ETFs, especially for, oh gosh, come on, uh, especially for why is this my chart is all disconnected again let me see if i can fix that no uh, we yeah. talked we, we we talked about we talked about some of these um etfs uh as potential you know regression plays right the sectors that were down last year likely to be up this year um i can't get xle to to populate here hang on a sec let me see if i can get it on yeah no worries chart. uh i i actually own the xle uh because uh you know i i don't own too many oil uh, stocks individually. And when, when I get into that kind of mode, I just go to the ETF so that, you know, they can manage the assets and it's just much easier. But the XLE on a daily chart, looks like it's in, uh, kind of forming a rising uh, wedge, which at some point will mean that uh, we're going to get a, a pretty sizable sell-off. Now, the 500-day SMA has been providing some pretty good support. We got it uh, last month and we got it uh, yesterday. Uh, the 500 day SMA was uh, providing support for this. So uh, I think that's a pretty uh, key support level. It's kind of trapped right now between the 200 and the 500 day SMAs. Uh, I, I, I don't know what the question here is. Uh, if we're looking, if, if we're looking, at I, I just asked, order. I just asked for a suggestion on okay. tickers. There was no context here, but okay. uh, that's, that's pretty good. Um, the other, uh, 
Amazon. You guys folks want to take a look at Amazon. I think these are going to trade with the uh, broader market here today, but I guess we should do a good job of finding if there's any type of support and resistance levels. One of the things that jumps off the page here, 147.50 on Amazon, definitely a level that's going to be in play here today. Let's take a look at the hourly chart and see where we can come back into. So, uh, yeah, so that 147 and a half, but uh, more sticky than that is going to be this 145. If this market continues to sell off like it, the pre-market is kind of telling us, let me get one of my other charts up here. The market is going to keep, keep moving down here and the SPY is looking weak here in the pre-market. If that continues, I really do think Amazon could come in towards 145. While we're talking about Amazon, we might as well take a look at Tesla as well. We inevitably take a look at Tesla on any given day here. Uh, this likely to come in as well with the uh, market. We'll see if we can get down to about 134. I know Lynn and Randy are waiting for that. Lynn and Randy, if you're out there, you're looking for that $2 move here on Tesla. Let's see if it actually trades down, gives us a tradable bottom and then moves back up. Both Amazon and Tesla, from what I can see, they're getting support from the 50 day SMA. Okay. Perfect. And we'll see if we break down through that. Uh, Becca, Saidu and Akon from yesterday. Okay, let's take a look at this. So here's Saidu. We did have a move up yesterday. Uh, this is our stock here for Jay, obviously. We did move up here yesterday. We traded up in the pre-market, stopped at about 15, but we didn't really break down when we came back in. Let's see if Saidu actually picks up. Again, here, the big key is going to be volume on this name. Uh, we'll see if we can actually get that volume to expand here. One thing about, oh, I'm sorry, the yeah, chart's doing the same thing. So I, I thought I had an Apple uh, or I had a Saidu chart up and it was Apple. Sorry. Yep. All good. Uh, and then the Akon, that was the other one that was from yesterday. We did, of course, get a, uh, let's see. And that, yeah. So it's weird. If it doesn't have, if the socket is, I'm just trying to, I'm thinking out loud here. If the socket doesn't have a recent quote update, it's like it doesn't uh, update the chart here. That would be a good note for me to talk to Zaid about today. But I'm just thinking out loud here uh, on Saidu. We'll see. And let me actually flip over to my main workspace here and see if we can get some better movement on that. Uh, let's load my chart here. Uh, okay. GRTX. This was the penny stock that we talked about. MCRB. Okay. So it looks like this is not disconnected. Let's see if we can get Akon to pull up. Yeah. See, I don't have a quote here from Akon. So I don't think... Yeah, it just it keeps defaulting to the Apple chart. Becca, as soon as uh, Acon gets a price tick there, I'll pull that up and we'll take a look at that. Uh, we absolutely should take a look at Acon after what we saw here yesterday. Um, we already covered the spy here. Uh, Webcoin wants to take a look at EYPT. Let's take a look at that one here. EYPT, this has actually been one of the favorites. Shout out to Zoltan on EYPT. That was really uh, one of the better one of the better uh, research things that Zoltan has done here. Did they the reverse flip? Dying. No, they didn't. They just have the wrong chart. <laughs> it's doing that thing. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I and, and actually, my platform is totally locked up here. Uh, let me just let me just refresh here real quick. Sorry go. about that. You're welcome, Becca. Um, no. Let's go. Let me let me roll through the chat here real quick. Carmen uses AI in her business and trading. Well, that's why Carmen has an edge on the rest of us. Okay. All right. Uh, Acom looks like it may keep going after strategic partnership news. We'll see if we can get that rolling here. Zim, I'm sure we'll take a look at Zim. Those shippers have been uh, monsters recently. Let me actually bring that. Let me actually put that up in a different chart here. Get that queued up here. Uh, Zim's still doing a good job holding above 13. We'll see if that. Are you still in Zim or did you? Oh, no, I uh, I closed my position last week because okay. uh, right. there was a rule that I have when it comes to certain uh, trades that once they go a certain, uh, you know, they have a certain gain after, in a short period of time, I just take the gains and, and wait for it to create uh, create another setup. Yeah, give you give you another buy opportunity. Mm -hmm. I totally got you. Okay, we are just under two minutes, 150 until this thing opens. Let's go ahead and find that money folks uh, as a reminder the stream is sponsored by trade the pool if you need a prop firm be sure to check out trade the pool biggest pool of stocks that i've seen in a prop firm awesome service uh awesome platform um so check it out if you need any help getting above that 25k level for day trading purposes uh okay let's see we are getting close here a minute 20 let me see if I can actually get my trade pool software open here real quick. 
you notice what just uh, what Zim just did? I my charts wrong. No, I actually it. I have Zim kind of pinned along a pivot point here, so I didn't see any of the recent price movement here. Okay, I don't know if it's just the, my broker that's showing me something different than uh, what other what trade uh, view is showing, but it looked like there was a a, a, a big drop and it just immediately got bought up. But that might just be my broker. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to enter a password here. Yeah, you know, oh, be careful sorry. today. Yeah. It, 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 market doesn't feel too great out of the, uh, you know, this morning. This, just in my opinion, it's, I'm not feeling too no, great about this market. No, but you know what, thirteen? We've seen that before, and the market refuses to break down. It gives yeah. us that, it gives us that feeling of weakness in the pre-market, and then when the regular session opens, it's just everything changes. Oh, it's got me. <laughs> it, it always does. It always <laughs> seems to get us. All right, folks, we are open here. Three seconds. All right. All right. Sorry if you hear all my clicking. That's all right. It's all right. Okay. So Tesla here, Tesla first move here. It looks to be a little bit lower. Uh, I don't see anything updating yet. Let's see on BTBD. I'm watching S and TG. It broke beneath a, uh, a level that I put. Now we're beneath uh, view app. Z trying to re re reclaim it. Z car halted. That was, looks like a low volume pop into the four hundred three lever and a three four hundred three level and a halt. MCRB holding beneath two. We want to watch that. We want that to reclaim two. There we go. Okay, we reclaim two and the view app here. MCRB, big volume stick here as well. This might be worth watching. Yeah, I started with SNTG, and it's just kind of a battleground right now. Uh, BTBD, yeah. Just a, lot of, a lot of selling out of the open with some of these. Zim, another selling. This might be one of those days where I just kind of wait and see what happens and not trade something out of the open. Look at Archer. That one uh, dropped. I mean, I don't think that's that's really something worth trading right now. But it's interesting that we've been on this, and now it's uh, it's dropping down. Where where do you think where do you think Archer goes? Eventually? Well, our, I have five twenty as a, as a uh, level, and I every time that it goes under there, I add more. And when we get back above it and run for a bit, I uh, I tend to sell in that strength. Okay, J and PR. Now we're now we're talking. Oh, Archer, big pull here. Mm -hmm. SNTG 440. So that lost that 460 level on SNTG. Yeah, that that's was one of the important levels there. That's the uh, that was the one I was hoping I could uh, get uh, a good trade on, but it's, it hasn't presented something for me yet. Juniper Jane. Juniper VWAP reclaim here. Yep. See Juniper having a tough time getting above this view app here. We'll see if it ends up taking it out. Uh, one of the things I'd like to see on Juniper is a nice move through 37 here. Could test the top end of that range. Yeah, this whole pre-market uh, trading that we had in JNPR, uh, it's got to make its way through that from 37 to about 37.50 uh, and a little bit higher. So that's that's the supply zone that it's going to have to get through. If we uh, take out that, uh, that range, this thing could uh, maybe run to the uh, pre-market highs. Okay, now GRFS, this one interesting here. If we can get above 766, we're currently at 751. We might have a pot potential gap fill up to about 10 bucks. This one really sold off yesterday, bounced and really didn't fill that gap, but maybe we'll day two here. Take, keep an eye on GRFS. Market Sniper pointing out Nexi. This thing just you know, likes to stay quiet in the pre-market. And then as soon as the market opens, look at that. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> let's, take a, let's bring Nexi up here. We've actually had some success with Nexi. Mm -hmm. Would not be opposed to trying this one. Go, oh man, but we're not going to chase that green candle. Nope. Big pop here. Was was there any size on that? Was anyone watching that? Was anyone watching the level two? Maybe some size there, low eights that it just busted through? I, I did not. It wasn't yeah, uh, either. on my radar. Uh, but hey, you know, th th same, same with NKTX. That one's also starting to move too. These previous ones that have moved, they're they're coming back. 
and I think it may be uh, worth keeping something like this and uh, NKTX on our radar for the entire week if yeah. they're just going to keep doing this. Yeah, absolutely. NKTX, by the way, now showing up on the relative volume scanner here. So I think you might be on to something. Okay, so now we have uh, JNPR trying to make its way through that supply that I was talking about. It's halfway through. Might get some resistance. We'll see. NKTX here. This is looking poppy. Okay, so SNTG is is selling off, and I have a level at about uh, three dollars and eighty six, eighty five cents. I think that might be a, an area where we could uh, see the uh, a bounce. So uh, kind of, it, and it might be as low as uh, uh, three seventy. So kind of that range. Watch for uh, some uh, support in that area. But so it should th be coming th down. This is we actually we actually uh, consolidated just a little mm -hmm. bit and then actually used that area's resistance yesterday. Yeah, you're right. We'll see if we you know if it does do that here, it's going to break down through this 383 low that we put in here today. Mm -hmm. SNTG, all I see here is red candles. We want that to turn around. Can actually use the volume as your indicator here too, right? As soon as you see some of these candles turn to buying candles, maybe the buyers are going to be in control, giving us an upside trade there. Nexi halted order flow. Good call here. Nexi halted wow. to the upside. This is the first halt of the day for Nexi. Right back to 10. That's that seems to have been the level that Nexi likes to run to is right into the uh the tens. It's been doing it pretty regularly. Didn't do it yesterday, got to 944. But that's a level that I have on this one. I've had it since I think last week or past two weeks. Uh BTBD might I, I'm looking to see what happens if it reaches a 200 uh EMA on the five minute, which is about 248, 250. Uh, SNTG starting to get uh, a little bit of green, but don't know if that's going to last. I see some EMA is about to go through VWAP. That's not a good sign. Uh, Zim under 13 and still falling. SNTG might have found that bottom. Uh, we'll see if this is bouncing here off this four level. We'll see if this holds here, SNTG. Smoke Tuna talking about ARQT. That one had to pop out of the open and it came back in and it's maybe flagging. I'm not sure. SNTG. More sales, more sales here. We I think you know what, 13. I think you're right. I think we have to agree. We're gonna have to wait this one out till it really gets into a thicker support level. It looks like it's gonna try mm -hmm. and give this up. Yeah, that's a shame. That's when I was hoping that would uh, provide some really good trades. So far, not yet. on TG, not yet. Let's take a look at NKTX. Yeah. This is trying to go higher here. This is trying to push higher here. And let me actually bring this up on a different screen here. MRCB, by the or MCRB, excuse me, continuing to break down here. Let me bring up NKTX. NKTX has the, has the look here today. It's actually not spread at all at the moment. Looks pretty good. Good volume here too. NKTX might see this go higher here. 11 13 maybe here we go yeah i don't have any levels for this one i should do that real quick are we going okay uh maybe 12 okay so 11 50 it is a uh kind of a uh, resistance level here i think 12 uh 50 might be next Let me mark that off Man, this looks like a really nice, clean break here on this 15-minute. Yeah, so between about $12.50 and uh, we'll call it $15, there's a good amount of uh, supply there on NKTX. Uh, yeah, and I, I'm hoping for trading purposes that this actually gets rolling here because I, I want to see volume like I did yesterday that is sustained throughout a period of the session. I feel like a big volume pop here, if we don't get that sustained buying volume, we're just going to come right back in on this. Yeah, it looks like we're about to break this uh, high that we made this uh, just about five minutes ago. Eleven forty-three. There we go. Stopped right there. Let me go back to it. Let me zoom in here again. Go back to it one minute. We did break that high. Came back in. We'll see if this actually blows through it here. Mm. 
UNG moving here, CLRB, CLRB 335. Let me take a look at that here real quick. And RX, RX, aren't some of the chat on RX, RX? I feel like that one's been brought up quite a bit here. CLR, or CLRB here. We'll see if this can pop off 340. It's made multiple attempts at that 340 level already. Volume looks good here. Um, we'll see if it can actually take out 340. I don't, I don't, I, I think if we come back in towards the VWAP, that might be where I actually try this kind of no man's land right here. But let's see, 340 might fall if this gets any more expanding volume. SNTG at that 415. So it looks like that breakdown might have stopped at least temporarily here. Mm -hmm. okay, RX, okay. RX is an easy mic play, huh? Oh, wow. Well, it's just moving. So here we go on SNTG. So, uh, so first of all, here, this actually looks like a, a, a you know, fairly uh, easy to determine the levels here. If you're going to trade this right here for a potential close back to the VWAP and maybe a break above, I got to say stop's got to be right at four. And you probably won't be the only person that has the stop there. So if it breaks through four, you actually might get a pop down on, the, on SNTG. It's trying to bounce here. It's trying to bounce here. Volume is here we go. So maybe we get a close back to the view app. I don't know on SNTG. Yeah, if if I was doing if I was an SNTG right now, which I'm not, I'd I'd probably try to take a little bit of profit if we do touch view app because it looks like it still has some more downside. Uh, BTBD getting some support from the 200 EMA on the five minute. See if that still uh, continues to play out. It hasn't reversed and and shown any green candles yet. RX, RX, just a monster. <laughs> Third green candle out of the open. I miss my home computer. <laughs> it's really weird how attached guys. you get to it, huh? It, it is so weird. I mean, it, it is just so weird. I'm, I'm just, I'm so used to everything. BT, BT, this actually not looking terrible. If this can retake, what do we have? The high here, 290 on BT, BT? Yeah. above VWAP. Let's see what happens. Can get I have it below VWAP on trading view, BTBD. Yeah, I'm using uh, the Weeble's uh, oh, okay. uh, brokerage. Yeah, the, yeah. The, bro the brokerage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's weird too, because my brokerage one seems to be different sometimes too. And I use Thinkorswim. I use a totally different brokerage. CUTR. This was mentioned by Becca earlier here. This up 18% here, CUTR. Nice move off the VWAP. Be Bex, is this where you called this one? Right in here on the view up. Nice push away. Volume looking good here. Let's see if we can actually attack those pre-market highs. I've got 414 as the high print here. Bex, I think you hooked one here. C-U-T-R. Wow. Nice pop here. I came late to it. That's my own fault. This this was early. Kind of makes you wish you had more eyes, huh? Yeah, this was it. It was 940. <laughs> I see the timestamp. 940 right here. This was it. Great call, Bex. Let's see if we take four out here. Maybe we maybe 420 next. Nice. RX RX is beasting. My goodness. CUTR stopped at four there. We'll see if that moves through it. J Wild S F W L. We've had that one here recently. While wow. RX RX, look at this. Just a green staircase to the upside. This is separating from the view app here. At this point now, in fact, let me cue this up in a different chart just in case. We get a pullback to the view app here on RX RX and a hold possible long side entry there. Gonna wait this out though. Man, you weren't kidding about RX RX. No, oh, so C U T R. Uh, they they had a pre market high of four fourteen. So that's that's uh, the next level to take out, I think. Uh, J N P R. I was hoping that would come back. It hasn't. B T B D. It's trying to make its way above the uh, 65 EMA on the five minute. It's doing pretty well getting off the 200, but still hasn't gone out of that range yet. SFWL, this was uh, Jay Wild. This was a great call earlier. This, another green staircase here. Let's see if this getting really extended from the VWAP too. I see nothing but green candles here. We have that one initial tiny, tiny little red candle right at the open and nothing but buyers after that. Shang Fang development. MDT, isn't this one of your uh, Medtronic medical device companies on the relative volume scanner and printing highs here? Looking like it's going to try to attack that 88 level. And STAA that uh, Wisdom mentioned, that's something that we were talking about in pre-mark, or I'm sorry, in the happy hour last night. Sure was. Look at the run on MDT off the bottom here. Mm -hmm. 
this double bottom right around 69, we're almost 20 points off that bottom. That the first that's back from October and November. Wow, what a move on when I bought MVP. it. Yeah, I was gonna say right when you bought it. That's the <laughs> Joe, that's the it, Joe bottom that we got in there. Well, Love it. The whole the whole idea with MDT was a a play on um uh the older generations having more money and therefore being able to spend uh, money on, mm -hmm. on, you know, medical devices and whatnot. And I think this, it's more of a uh, older generation having more money play than more than anything else. So that's, uh, that's why I thought it was a good buy. RX, RX pulling back off the high, not quite at the VWAP yet. We'll keep an eye on that. MDT here, just to kind of finish the discussion on MDT. This, to me, sure looks like 91 on deck here. Going to find some more resistance there at 91. Actually might find a little bit before that, around 90. That 90 to 91 area, likely to be some resistance. MCRB, I'm uh, looking to see if this will uh, bounce off the 200 EMA. That It looks like it, it may get, get a bounce. I don't know that it's going to reverse and go higher, but a bounce. Maybe even a dead cat bounce could you could capture some uh some in there. So SNTG, maybe this next he open and taken off. Got it. Oh my god. The and halted again. And halted again. Wow. Huge move here on Nexi. Boy, so, I tell you what, every time we've taken a look at this, it's been wild. It's been wild. Yes. Nexi giving us opportunities here. Uh, Webcoin mentioning POL. That had another similar move, uh, what, last week? Maybe the week before POL mm -hmm. we talked about? Let's take a look All at these old POL runners. here. RXRX RX, trying to uh, get back above the highs it just made five minutes ago. Uh CUTR trying to get to that 414. Didn't sure quite get there. Is. Sure is. And this POL here, this looks like this popped through nine and got pulled, but it's coming back on here, POL. Take a look at CC or C4 because uh, CCCC EK, EKS brought it up. Oh, okay. Well, that one, <laughs> that one already took off. I was late. Yeah, we might get VWAP pulls on this one too. We already got one here today. Didn't quite get down there. ARDX, saw some of you mentioning ARDX earlier. Sydney, ARDX, huge volume. This is one of your uh, holds, isn't it? Sydney. Actually, this chart, this intraday chart looks pretty good here. Let's let's see if we take off uh, 853. Let me bring up this in the level two here on ARDX. RX, RX didn't even pull back to the VWAP, looking like it's going to move back towards the highs here uh level two looks good on ardx here maybe we pop above 853 yeah i uh took a little bit of ADR, ardx i'm in at uh 848 ardx 848 we'll see where we got here on ardx let's see if we pop and take that 850 out yeah that's what i'm looking for get a little capture there Bo Pull. looking good. So I'm watching. So here, so sorry for taking my eyes off the screen. I am watching the level two here on ARDX. Looking pretty good. Time mm -hmm. and sales looking pretty good here too. C4, new highs. Pole almost did. Star about to. Or I'm sorry, not star. STAA. STAA. Yeah. I'll bring that some up. These are, some of these are getting pretty, uh, pretty extended. We have these high RSIs. RX, RX, about to make a new high. Uh, ARDX popped into that 850 here. I see some size here at 850. Let's see if we take that out. They're hitting it. Mm -hmm. So that was real there. Pulled off that spot, but not breaking down here. Let's see if we get back to the 850 spot, ARDX. 850, and then I have the, the high here, 853. So that area in there likely to stop it. Let's see if ARDX can get going here. You're very welcome. ARDX struggling so far. Okay, here we go with CUTR. CUTR um, right through four. Yep. I'm going to bring this up here. I'll keep you updated on ARDX. I, okay, so I'm going to, I'll, I'll, Take a stab at this ahead of time. I suspect that we pull right at 414, or if we break through it by a penny or two, I think we get a pullback. And if we do get a pullback, we might get an opportunity to load near or at VWAP here, C-U-T-R. 
Lynn back in Tesla. Lynn, we'll take a look here at Tesla in a sec. Got a couple of things going on here with ARDX and CUTR. We're also watching that Nexi halt. Remember, uh, we've had two halts, both to the upside. Could see one more before we start to come back in. Yep. Yep. ACCD. Someone mentioned that earlier. Who 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 was that? I'm gonna get you. I don't I don't accolade. Uh, yeah, I hate getting names wrong. I just I hate getting names wrong. Uh, ARDX coming off that spot here. Really not breaking down VWAP at eight thirty seven in my broker ARDX. Mm -hmm. Man, Tesla moving to the down. Although maybe that did bounce off that two thirty five here. Uh, CUTR pulling here. Let's see if it gets. Excuse me. Let's see if it gets to the VWAP. This this still kind of flirting with that four level here. CUTR. MCRB is almost at its two hundred day. I'm sorry, two hundred EMA on the five minute. If it doesn't bounce there, then I'm probably just going to not worry about that one anymore. MCRB. Let me see if I can mm -hmm. bring that one up here. CUTR is flagging. That one we have here. I'd, I'd really like a add at VWAP on CUTR. Yeah, I like that. I think I'll do uh, that too. ARDX. Um, let's see if it move, it's curling back up towards that 850. Really can't do anything there until 850. Uh, MCRB. This it does look like this is breaking down here right back up to that 850 and pulled off of it that seems to be what we're doing here on ardx let's take a look at tesla i know lynn and randy looking for a 235 entry here on tesla wow i'll tell you what lynn and randy there's it's look at that almost got it to the penny almost got it to the penny what does this candle have low of 23501 literally off by a cent lynn and randy i'm gonna need you to tighten that up a little bit that one's <laughs> just just kidding uh we'll see if we actually get a bounce back to the view app here remember remember lynn and randy have told us that the trade plan that they try to execute on tesla every day is the two dollar movement because we get it over and over and over again they were looking at 235 i believe yeah hit that 23501 uh looking like you're back in here for a bounce I would imagine, Lynn and Randy, strategy-wise, if you break that low of day at 235.01, do you cancel and wait for a retest? What's the strategy there? Looks like we're going to try and test this here again. We'll see here on Tesla. <laughs> What's face orange frowning? Oh, is that supposed to be an emoji? <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be an emoji, but we don't see it in stream. Now. We don't see some of them. The okay. names sometimes are better than the emojis themselves. I will yeah. say that. I thought, I thought he was saying I had an orange face. It was frowning, and I was like, I don't think my beard's making me look that. No, mean. it's it's not. It's not. <laughs> ACCD might be uh, getting out of this bull flag here. Uh, Tesla broke down through that two thirty five and reclaimed it. Uh, this is the this is the stuff that shakes me out on Tesla. Th this action right here, that's the stuff that shakes me out. <laughs> I'm uh, gonna give ardx a little bit more time before i ardx oh, just we, brought in a bid there at 147 yeah. and popped it to 148 still have that resistance at 850 though all i need to do is start talking about leaving it and it gets it goes no 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 wait wait, wait. hey so the market's got you bugged <laughs> as well huh i thought it was just me <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that one uh yeah i'm just i was going to consider lowering my um uh, my uh limit order to sell just because I, you know, it's taken too long. I don't want to be in this too longer than I have yep. to be. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you there. Uh, okay, we're back up at that size at 850 here. ARDX. Nice. Let's see if this gets uh, snapped. If it does, we might even pop here. Here we go. They're taking it. They refilled some of it. Okay, so this 850 clear level here on 850. We'll see if we break it. Tesla reclaimed that 235, but doesn't have the juice just yet. ACCD that, that we it's looking pretty good bringing it up here ACCD just They're needs bringing more, in more bids here on ARDX there we go through that 850 pop to 852 and stop there let's see if we go higher here I've got the high print at 853 mm -hmm. we're at it let's see if we get some new highs here ACCD actually looks like this is going to try to curl up towards the highs off the view app as well. Yep. Here's 853 up on ARDX. 
And sorry, Chad, I'll get back there. Crow, I know you've had, you've got a couple here. I'll get back there. CDIO. Okay, I'll look at that. Oh yeah. And 853 down on ARDX up to 855 here now. Filled on ARDX. Out, your exit was filled? Yeah. There you go. I did it small. I was only going to go small because of how quickly it was moving. Didn't hey, gr green on the risk. screen. We talk about it. We talk about it all the time. Green on the screen. Get it. ARDX coming back in now to that 850 spot. ACCD. This one might be moving up as well. SNTG got that 415. CUTR. Let me go back to that. STAA. Whoever mentioned that one, great job. That one's doing great. Not a red candle C -U yet. CUTR here looking for some new highs. 420, I think it can get there. Uh, big call on this one, Becca. Yeah. I couldn't get my limit order filled to, to get into that one either. Here we go. Above 420 on CUTR. 423 highs there and it's stopping. ARDX still holding above that 850. Looking like some new highs here on ARDX. 856 spot there. Nexi is resumed. Where to go? Nexi popped higher and is coming back in this. Actually, yeah. might get up. Oh, nope. They're okay. They're moving it. It, it stopped there for a yep. sec. There we go. Now we're more. Oh my gosh. This yep. is all over the place. This this is what you would expect with the third uh, move out of the halt. Yeah. Uh, so this is this is probably the halt, I, or this is out of the halt where I would have sold. But yeah, I, I would say yeah, I I agree. Thirteen. If I was long, this is yeah. where I this is where I exit that. Mm -hmm. And it might go higher. Look, there it goes. <laughs> All I have to do is open my mouth and it does things. Dude, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It feels like that when it, the market is spying on you. It sucks. Yeah. There is this whole thing called risk profile. It didn't meet it, so. Uh, CUTR. It broke the uh, pre-market high. Excellent. Uh, ARDX, 859. That one just moving too slow for me. ARDX, great one. Who brought that up? Let's see. Looking through the chat. I can't find who said that. But uh, Sydney it brought it up at one point. I don't know ah, if okay. she was the first, though. Um, MCRB curl. Wist, let's take a look at that. Remember, we talked about that. 13, you, were exit you exited out of that one, right? Which one? Uh, MCRB that was breaking down here. It looks like maybe we are curling off that 160 level. MCR no, MCR, MCRB. This was the one I was looking for a, a bounce off the 200 EMA, and it's oh, I'm like sorry. A, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's looking like this one. It's it's trying to do that right now. Uh, the one I was in was um, uh, ARDX where I got out and gotcha, it gotcha. Was slow, so ARDX got more highs here. That one's still going too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wisdom. I, I I appreciate that. I, I'm starting to become more and more a fan of prop firms as they give smaller and smaller retail traders an opportunity to break to the next level. Uh, it's really good stuff. That aligns C with our vision as well. CUTR. Yeah, that one's just uh, a rocket now. Four fifty. Okay, big time rocket here. Bex, pat yourself on the back. Okay, so with C four, we got a uh, a test. Uh, we're, we're getting support from BWAP. I'm going to look at uh, watch this one to see if we get uh, a move off that. Matter of fact, I might ease into this one. NKTX here, Crow saying good setup here. This one doing a really good job staying above its VWAP. We'll see if it ends up popping and breaking through that 1150. That's what stopped it all day here today. Um, the thing about ARDX is that we could be breaking the. Uh, pre-market highs which was 879 so we're going yeah, I, there, I, it looks like. my broker has 876 but right in there i I, mm -hmm. I agree with you it looks like we could go up there and test that some pretty good size volume traded right here at 865 we're moving higher off that now 
NKTX coming back into the view app here. This might be good. If you think this is going to go, this is a better entry right here, NKTX. NKTX breaking beneath 11, right at 11. We'll see here on NKTX. Nexi 1460. SNTG breaking down, huh? What happened with Nexi? I, I uh, saw that we were, had uh, gone over 15. I haven't seen what, uh, what it did since then. Back to 14. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And I, sorry, I pulled it off to take a look at SNTG here. So we actually broke beneath that 380 level that we had talked about before 13. This mm -hmm. right in this 350 to 365 level now on SNTG. Another potential bounce spot here. We'll see if this firms. C4 might, it might be moving up here. It's got uh, to get through 730. And we, uh, we might see some fireworks. Uh, Sydney saying Raymond James has a $15 price target ARDX. That's one of the things driving it here. SNTG stopped selling right at this level that we identified as support. The question is, is are we going to reverse and bounce here? First sign here, selling stop. That's good. CENX. Haven't looked at this one yet here today. CENX, nice move here today. Let's see if that can take 12.50 off. What does the level two look like on that CENX? Actually, that one's looking pretty good too. Decent volume, not spread. CENX, this one not bad here. Here we go. We're trading up here. Let's see if this 12.50 falls. I have that as the exact high print right to it. They're taking some of it. Looks like they've added more in there. 1250 here. CENX. Watch for this 1250 pop here. I got VWAP at 1207. We might also get a pull. So BTBD, uh, James is uh, bringing this to our attention. It's looking like it may have gotten that support from the 200 EMA on the five minute, coming back up and trying to break VWAP. At least got a close over it. BTBD, BT Brands. Yeah, it looks like the selling has stopped here. Maybe we get a, uh, a regression back towards the VWAP. That would be a potential long side trade there. Is Tesla trying to turn? Tesla Pole. does look like maybe it is starting to bounce here. We'll see. Pull with a little bit of a shoot up through. Uh, okay, this one's a little bit spready. Pull. Uh, it, Actually, it shot up through VWAP and then came Tesla, back down. Tesla, Tesla. This... It's really right. struggling to get above that 236 on Tesla. C4 might be uh, trying to get through 730. And the volume just kind of left the room. NKTX still looks like it'd be a good one. Watching Tesla here. You might be onto something, uh, Daniel. I know uh, Lynn and Randy were watching this earlier off that 235. We're wicking up to that 236, looking like it's going to try and take that out. Let's see if we end up trading up here on Tesla. I got 236.58 as the VWAP, so a move through 236 probably closes that down here. Charles said something about Tesla 237 puts Johnny. Uh, okay. I didn't hear it clearly. So Johnny, that's helpful. I actually, when I'm traveling here and in the office, I don't have an audio setup capable of uh, giving me Charlie uh, in a non-distracting way. So appreciate that. I didn't have that. By the way, Tesla here pulling. CDIO uh, moving up to the highs of the uh, regular session. All right, let me bring that up here. CDIO. Like some of these make these moves, CUTR, new highs. Some of these make these moves, and then they just stop. But CUTR, CUTR is still good. Yeah, yeah this, that thing's been a rager here this morning, CUTR. Mm -hmm. ARQT has also been, been pretty good. 
I'm just waiting Next for uh, about Illumina. QS looks like that's another four and a half percent here. QS has been a ripper. Nexi broke beneath 14 here. QS off the nice move here. Coming back into the VWAP. This actually wouldn't be a bad one either. QS volume looking really mm -hmm. strong here on QS. Tesla is still trying to figure out what it's going to do. We'll update you there. Okay, so C4 is coming down, looking for the VWAP as support if it gets down there. <clears throat> QS might be a bounce spot here. I'd be I'd be more tempted to take this at VWAP instead of trying to just buy out here in no man's land, although it does look like it's trying to bounce. Tesla not really able to clear out 256. That's something to watch there in terms of a spot. ACCD, this is right at the VWAP. Mm -hmm. So I learned something. I, when I went to the uh, Lions game, I learned that uh, they called Dan Campbell uh, MCDC, Motor City Dan Campbell. It's like ACDC except MCDC. I think that's a pretty good. Uh, I think that's a pretty good nickname. Uh, Tesla breaking down here, by the way. So Tesla uh, looks like it was trying to bounce there. Lost that 235 level, uh, looking like 234 here now. Pull, break down through the, uh, through the low of the day here on Tesla. Looks like this is going lower here on Tesla. Well, every time that they have him come out into the Man. field, they're going to have to start playing Hell's Bells. <laughs> that actually would be really sweet if they did that. Wish Tesla would dip below 200 again. I want to stock up. Long-term view there on Wisdom with you on that one. Looks like NKTX is, is trying to make a move off VWAP. Pull that up here. Man, Tesla. C4 <clears throat> doesn't look like it's uh, quite working. It just moved down beneath VWAP. Nexi halted again. Is this a downsider? It might be. Yep. This is a downside halt, 1267 on Nexi. We had that one pegged, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, somebody brought it up in chat. You again. Said out, yeah, you said after the last halt, this is where I would have sold. Boom, yeah. sure enough, breakdown. Yeah, usually you get good uh, three good opportunities in these uh, halts to the upside. As soon as you get that, uh, come out of that third halt, then it's. Like, okay, maybe we should uh, not get greedy. Just take your yeah, profits. May, maybe we should rethink things here. Yeah. At least that's been my experience. It, I've, I've been pretty successful trading it that way. CDI, I'm sorry, C4 breaking down. Looks like there's a support at about seven. C4. The RDX trying to make new regular session highs. The pre market was eight. I think yours is 876, mine's 879. This one looks like it's going to actually uh, go higher, though, based on the, the pre market into the uh, regular session chart. C4 might be bouncing. I'll bring that up here real quick. Sorry, I'm bouncing all over the place. No, no, it's fine. I'm, tr I'm trying to do the same thing. You know, CUTR, I think, was probably the, the easiest. No, I don't want to say easiest, but probably the, the the best winner to get into. You had plenty of time to consider this one. It wasn't whipping around like these other ones are. At least that's what I'm, I'm getting. It's just, you know, mostly just straight up. Pretty good liquidity. Pull spready, but popped to new uh, regular session highs. All right, sorry, just getting it's ready here. OBS, boom, and then ACCD. Oh, ACCD is still still holding. This one is 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 uh, getting a bounce off VWAP.
What are you in right now? Um, nothing at the moment, day trading wise. Uh, nothing has changed on the swing side. I had some trouble with my trade the pool account there this morning, but looks like we're back in now. All right. And now I'm jostling between pro. You know, maybe I can actually, let me see if I can get pro on a different screen here. I got multiple monitors in here. Let me work on this. ACCD. Looking pretty good. QS looks ready. Let's take a look at QS. No, that screen is horizontal. Okay. QS with VWAP support and moving off that. Looking pretty good. Did it finally come into the VWAP? Yeah, it sure did. It actually got to it this time. Okay, sweet. And then a, a nice little bounce there. Okay, so I was a little late on that, dealing with the login issues here. C4 making a comeback. So this one's working out pretty well. This actually reclaiming the VWAP size there at 730 on C4. Mm -hmm. Crow still long LBPH. Remember that from what last week, week before? <laughs> I think I do. Yeah, that was that one was wild. Actually, a nice little nice little uh, flag here on that pop. This might actually go higher here, Crow. Yeah, ACCD looks pretty good. I just can't, you know, I can't bring myself to get into it yet. I'm, I want to finish this. AC. I'm sorry, you want to finish which? No, no, it's okay. I, I want to I finish my trade with C4 before I move into something else. Got you. RX, RX, still seeing uh, VWAP support with that one. I'm going to start writing some of these down. It looked like they're about, they're going to make a comeback. Yeah, and it also might be worth watching in the afternoon here. Uh, some size mm -hmm. here, 1328 on RX, RX. That lines up pretty good with the VWAP. I've got the VWAP at 1333, so it's a little bit under it. Uh, OPK, Wisdom, you want to take a look at OPK. Let's do that here. I think you mentioned that earlier, and I might have glossed over it, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, the first thing, if we want to take a look at, at uh, OPK, first of all, if we look at this hourly chart here, bottom right corner, sure looks like it's trying to take off this 104. That also marks your day high for the day here. We'll see if that can actually get us back to that 120, 130 area on OPK. Um, if I look on the daily chart here, we actually, what, we're gapped down, have a, a gap up to 150 here, OPK. Opco Health, what does this company do? Uh, wisdom. I'm not familiar with this one. Nexi is open. Let's see what Nexi's doing here. Yeah, it's been open for some time trying to hold uh, the nine EMA on the five. Yeah, minutes. this looks like this is going lower. Not going to lie. Uh, I think once we get to 10, we could see some support, but we'll have to wait and see if that's the case. Shop moving up. So that. OPK nice. is a diagnostic. Open. OPK is a diagnostics company. Lots of insider buying recently. There you go. Wisdom's a sharp guy. Wouldn't be surprised if he spotted that one at the right time. Mm -hmm. How's CUTR doing here? CUTR looks like this pulled back a little bit. All right. C4 still looking pretty good. Really would like to get this to. Get back up into the 730s, but it's up, to, it's up to wait and see. Heavy that. snowstorm rolling into Chicago. Uh, how's Detroit, Ryan? I'll be honest. I've been hearing about this snowstorm for several days, and I'm a tad disappointed in the weather people because there was really not a lot of snow at all in Chicago. It's too warm here in Detroit for snow. Too warm. Got a picture from one of my friends in Missouri. Everything's blanketed in snow down there. Go figure. Okay, so um, ACCD and ARDX, they're they're – it looks like ACCD is about to make its move and ARDX is making the move. 
It was a big size of an ARDX it, at uh, 877. And ARDX has kind of been a slow grinder to these highs here. ACCD, mm -hmm. I wonder if that has more potential to pop if it moves through that high. Oh, so the snow is coming down now in Chicago. Okay, okay. You got, Jay, you got snow in Scottsdale? You got snow <laughs> in Scottsdale. That's wild. Hey, deserts can get super cold. Uh, Sydney, uh, S Sydney mentioning Celsius beverage. Let me tell you something, Sydney. If you stopped by the Benzinga office, one of the first things you would notice is you'd be like, wow, these folks are addicted to the Celsius drink. I see cans on every desk in this office. <laughs> Celsius definitely a popular drink. That's wild. That's wild that Scottsdale got snow. C-U-T-R finally with uh, some downside, and it was pretty big. Did it, did it pull? You know, look. Yeah. We've seen this. Uh, I'm ha looks like I'm having some charting issues here. We've seen this on some of these um, on some of these stocks. They, they'll do this, right? They, you had all day or i guess all morning this morning mm -hmm. uh on that cutr move this is again another reason why you pay yourself on the way up hail to down what's going on in scottsdale what is going on in scott I, honestly i think that'd be a pretty cool sight to see snow in scottsdale i think we'll get that snow. in february when i'm there jay i saw snow in joshua tree one time which is in uh which is a california desert uh town so I, I, you know, I've seen snow in deserts. It's not unusual because they, yeah. They just well, no, I drop. mean, I mean, I, I, when I think of Arizona, I think of sunshine and no snow. Mm -hmm. So cool to hear that there's snow there. Thirteen, you got the snowboarder look. <laughs> I am, uh, I'm pretty terrible at snowboarding. So I tried <laughs> I to I... snowboard too. By the way, one of the things we talked about with the broader market earlier. Let me actually pull up a spot. I while we're while we're talking about this we i had mentioned that the market was weak early market was weak early and one of the things that we wanted to keep an eye on is do we break down do we maintain that weakness i know it's early we still have a lot of this session to go but so far s p looking strong here as we're starting to trade back up maybe even fill that gap uh, on the s p here uh some other stocks bouncing with it maybe tesla starting a bounce apple kind of already back to its pre-market lows uh so maybe we're getting a turnaround here in the market Let's see what happens when the spy hits uh, four seventy three. That's a uh, that's a level that I've got. Uh, I also noticed that some things that we were talking about were going like QS going. Um, ACCD looks like it's about to make a new uh, regular session high. Uh, ARDX a little bit of pullback, but hasn't broken down. And pull pull popped to 970 and then it came back in this that one's really spready that one i probably won't even touch because i i just don't know you know if i could if i could stomach getting uh you know whipped around like that uh and, and i'll tell you what uh 13 i'm looking at this accd chart i am mm -hmm. like literally having to fight myself to not try and trade this break through the highs this does look like this wants to pop and go but we have to, we've just not seen the strength in those pop through those highs. Uh, real quick, Jay, regarding Celsius here, I'm hearing it's killing Red Bull. Um, I'll, I'll say this, Jay. I'll give you my personal opinion here. I think that's spot on. Uh, I'm not a huge energy drink fan, energy drink fan. I have tried those Celsius drinks. They're excellent. They taste better. It certainly doesn't feel like it is uh, makes me jittery. It, it doesn't it doesn't give me like that uh, like really crazy uh energy you know high or whatever you want to call it uh celsius much much better for that i, I tend to like that more I, I would imagine it continues to kill red bull red bull is kind of like a mixer now it's not even really an energy <laughs> <laughs> tgtx back down to that 20 level jay saying they present tonight 7 30 p.m um a lot less sugar yeah exactly and that's probably why i like it jay uh, jay I, I don't have it in front of me here do you know offhand if that tgtx presentation is going to be viewable live for people not at the conference maybe watch it or a powerpoint presentation or something nktx crow thank you for the call here that mm -hmm. crow said that's going on not yet really needs to pop this high off or break this high off 1147 maybe 1150 on that move there but it's gearing yes. STAA is coming up to 3371 where there's some uh some size but it's moving it's got new uh regular session highs yep 
and this is pulling away from the view app here. STAA, this was a discussion that originated in our happy hour, right? Or, or at least one yes. of the uh, gentlemen in our happy hour trade in this one. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that one. And uh, then when, when we brought that up, because I believe it's a medical device company that just got some, mm -hmm. uh, some, uh, there's some news on it. I can't remember what it was, but then that also prompted me to go, hey, you know, MDT is also running because that one got FDA uh, approval on one of its uh, uh, devices as well. So the Spy medical device. Five more highs here, by the way. Medical devices seem to be uh, pretty pretty good right now. QS still going. Great call, whoever that was. I see some size here at 170 on QS on the way up. At Easy Mike, QS above 950 is gold. Um, no, 970. Nine, oh, sorry. Okay. <clears throat> Looking around here. Also, don't have Twitter up in my office set up here. So if you guys see anything notable on Twitter, shout it out. Spy still at highs here. Market looks like it's trying to reverse. Tesla rolling back over to the lows here. Might not be out of the out of the woods yet on Tesla. And KTX MDT J correlate J correlating MDT with pickleball injuries. <laughs> That's great. Pickleball taking everything by storm here. That's wild. <laughs> it's taking the older community by storm. That's that's the really interesting thing. You you know what's I, I anytime there's some type of like you know big new trend it's always impossible for me for me to think of all of the different things connected to it i gotta say you could have given me 20 hints at different stocks connected to pickleball in some way and i am willing to bet there is no way i would have come up with mdt for that that's outstanding that's outstanding can we surmise that if pickleball continues to grow in popularity we might need more medical devices oh man that's funny a lot of influencers are into pickleball. Interesting. Yeah. Alyssa, did you see the report that one, I, I saw a report recently that one of the in America, I believe it was America only, one of the most sought after jobs is being an influencer. Ugh. Did anyone else see that? I mean, yeah, that was my reaction. Ugh. <laughs> Gross. <I> believe it. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm watching uh, some of these Q. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Nexi is uh, trying to uh, get back above VWAP. Yeah. Right above the VWAP. It's spread, though. Mm hmm. Some of these are just fun to watch. Yeah. Well, ne Nexi here at this point with this kind of spread, this is a only a watch for me. RX, I'll RX still put there. on my skates and grab a stick. Pickleball is for the Geritol set. Oh, Lynn, just on fire here. But I'm I'm with that though. I I'm all about ice skating. Give me some ice skates. CDIO might also not be done, but it's it's you know slow moving. The ones that are that are holding above VWAP, they're interesting. We'll see if Nexi can actually pull through the VWAP here. Pull P O L. Pulled. Let's do it. Pulled. Yeah. <laughs> That one's a, that's an ugly candle. And this is also spready too. It's got a Yeah, I was going to say it's an ugly and, candle into a big spread. Yeah. And it, it was it, it was spready like all morning. So this is, you know, it's yeah. if this is if this is how you can if you can trade this, you're probably doing really good. This one's not for me. The spread scares me away on a lot of names, honestly. Nexi getting above VWAP. I played a lot of platform tennis. Uh, lots of my friends play pickle in the offseason. I played tennis when I was younger. I absolutely love that sport. I wish I was better at it. I I would say I'd even prefer tennis to pickleball, but that might be a, an opinion in the minority there. I love watch or I love playing basketball, but I don't like watching it. 
Yeah. The game's a good game. The TV product, not good. Uh, question <laughs> here from though. Elon. Uh, question here from Elon. And we can, he's asking you and me, 13, but we can incorporate the rest of the uh, audience here as well. Uh, asking, hi, do you see NASDAQ breaking the new high over the December high? Cheers. Elon, it's uh, fascinating that you asked that because this was actually one of the questions that I posed to the happy hour group yesterday when we saw the big market run up. Uh, a lot of us have kind of been expecting a sell off. We completely understand that if you're expecting a sell off, you're not going to get it. That's when the market's not going to get it for you uh, or not going to give it to you. Uh, yes. I could see this getting getting broke. Thirteen. We talked about this too. The full. We, we did it in in reference to the spy. We talked about the four eighty high on the spy. Could that fall? Uh, we're mm -hmm. looking to see if that was fall. Yeah, I do think there could be some new highs set here. Um, it really depends on when the sell off comes. It really depends on when the sell off comes. I I do think one's coming, but I have been really really bad at, at timing that so far. So can't. Uh, Platform tennis is not tennis. It's a winter sport. Okay. Well, so, showing my ignorance there. I have no um, idea what platform tennis is. With regard to the NASDAQ, I mean, I'm, I'm referencing the cues here. Uh, yeah. Because same. That's, that, that's, that's what my, uh, my gauge is. So what I see here same. is that uh, if, if it can get uh, above the 20 day SMA, which it try, it did yesterday, it closed above it. And then we came back down and now we're trying to get back above 403, which we are. And now we're up to almost the 20 day SMA. If we can continue to get uh, stay above that and then fill this gap that we made uh, on this, from December 29th to January 2nd, uh, I would probably be more inclined to believe that we could break uh, new highs, but I'd want to see those things happen first. We could get the gap fill and then reverse, but I don't, I, I don't want to give an answer of yes, I think it is. Uh, I just don't have the confidence until I see some of these things happen first. Yeah. I could see that happening, but um, I can't tell you when. And that kind of takes the trade out of it for me. Handball with grenades is my kind of game. LOL. You're welcome, Elon. I hope. Isn't that uh, like a type of hot potato? potato? Yeah, I was going to say. I, <laughs> when I was a kid, so when I was a kid, my, my friends and I, uh, of course, we we're just, you know, troublemakers. We used to do that. On, we used to take a tennis ball, cover it in gasoline, light it on fire, and then play tennis at night with it. You ever stuff it with match heads? Yeah, the the bomb from the anarchist cookbook. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I've done that. <laughs> Look, oh, I was a kid. I, I was a kid in the nineties. I, yeah, I, I I did that stuff. The early days of the internet were pretty amazing. Yeah, they were. CDIO is uh, is is slow moving, but it's it's trying to get up to the uh, regular session highs here that I have of two eighty six. Well, that's uh, something that we could. Put on a radar. Not pop. Liquidity is pretty good. Yeah, if my C four uh, trade uh, breaks down beneath seven, I'll I'll be done. So here, this is what you're basically looking at. It's done a good, decent job holding. Here we go. Thirteen. Mm -hmm. We just yep. talked about it. We brought it up on screen. So of course, right to seven and through. Mm -hmm. Jane saying, LOL, Pyro. Yeah, again, I was a kid once. I have all my fingers. I didn't make any big mistakes that I regret. Uh, MBRX setting up. Smoke Tuna, let's take a look at that. Okay. Penny stock here. I'll probably pass on this. And KTX trying to... Look at these top wicks. It's really trying to get uh, up back up to 1150. And it might get it. Well, remember, uh, we were riding uh, just, what was it, 15, 20 minutes ago? Crow said he was thinking this looking like it's going to go. We are continuing to pressure this. I would guess as long as we don't lose the VWAP, maybe this can go here. This is going to try right here. Mm-hmm. 10 or 11.35, I beg your pardon. We're going to try right here. There's a little bit of size there, a little bit more above at 41. And KTX. 
Tesla, more new lows. Wow. That got to wait for that one to firm up here. Tesla continuing to hit lows. So we can bring that up here. Okay, I'm not so missing any down. like fresh news on Tesla. Am I? We're down eight points here. We're coming down to the 200 day SMA on that one. This, I mean, I would, I'd anticipate, you know, some support there. So we'll have to see what happens. Uh, NKTX, we're in the 40s or 1140s now, coming up to 1150 where there's the size. Nope. QS. There we got, go. Uh, there it down. is right through. Let's see if they pull it back. NKTX did go through that here. 1155, your high print. And there's the little bit of a yeah. pullback. I got I got filled out at 1150. So NKTX, that's one that I got. C4 didn't work out. That's not one that worked. So and then uh, ARDX uh, was the other one that I uh, did today. So those are the three that I did. Two or three today. There we go. I, I had. I'm O for O today. I had too many uh, platform issues to put money at risk. Uh, ACCD, it's very slow moving and it's, you know, not, not really spready, but it, it's pretty good. It's just that it looks like it's about to try to take out the, yeah, the, the, my question here, my question here on ACCD is, does it pop through or do we see what we just saw where it kind of moves through by a couple of pennies and then pulls back down? Take care of yourself, judge. Good to see yeah. you this morning. Nexi back up to 14. Yep. Right through that view app. Jay, Mobileye, MCHP, don't think those warnings bode well for auto names in general. So you just mean all auto or are you talking about automated driving or what? It, what is it, you know, more of like a general thing here? Looking at the, the hourly chart here on Mobileye, I mean, I guess it would really need to show some strength to close that gap up, but that's kind of, that jumps off the page at me here. Gap fill starting here at 32.58. We're currently at 32.25. Uh, next is uh, over. Well, it was over 14. Unless you get into Nexi when it's, you know, bottomed and started to curl. I, you just don't want to touch this one when it's running. No, you want to. Oh, my goodness. To that. Look at this. Go. 86, by the way, on MCHP here. Let me bring up Nexi. I know we got action going on there. It's just chasing these candles. It's it's just mm -hmm. it's not good. It's it's never a good strategy. Chasing can green candles never a good strategy. If you're quick and ARDX you know how to do it, slow mover. Yeah, if you're quick and you know how to do it, you know more power to you. But it's you know if you're new, it's just consider the risk. I'm just and again watching some of the trading action here. Better off buying dips. Yeah, and NKTX those breaks where they just pull back to VWEP. It's got some support at 1103. There's some size there. So maybe we uh, see it come so back off of that. They did exactly what we were talking about here on these upside breaks, right? They popped okay. it above a couple of cents, pulled it back. Now we're back down to the support. Let's see if this holds here. Maybe we can take the first trade of the day here. QS trying to recover from yeah, this. I'm going to try, try some oh. here. Oh. The QS? No, Um uh nktx we pulled right back to the okay. if we break if we break down here 1104 we'll stop we'll keep it real tight maybe 11 maybe 11 stop it I'll, I'll i'll do it with you okay there we go oh so it got in at bwap hey wendy appreciate that let us know what we can do to be better and to help you uh be better at trading that would be what I want to hear from that but i appreciate those kind words uh falling a little bit there let's see if it can actually reclaim this uh, much below mm -hmm. 11. I'm just going to close it. Yeah, I didn't take the same size I did when I was trading this earlier, which is I fine. Just, so I'll still be, I'll I, still be positive. I, yeah, I, I just, and that's, that's good risk management right there, right? I just took 300 shares, just get some action here. Daniel Torres asking about uh, at t and Verizon. I'll take a look at that. Okay. I'm in both of those uh, long-term. I was going to uh, say, that's your bag right, right there. <laughs> in more than one uh, in more than one terminology. 
uh, I, I have held this for so long and it's just, you know, constantly been going down, but it's making a, a, a falling wedge. So at some point, and it could be pretty soon, this is uh, going to turn around and uh, break out of that falling wedge. It's already turned around, but it could break out of the falling wedge fairly soon. I'm uh, I'm thinking that this year <clears throat> is going to be a better year for Verizon and AT&T because these, mm -hmm. uh, these dividend uh, plays uh, are starting to come back, especially ones that have really big dividends like the, uh, AT&T and Verizon. Not only that, but uh, lowered rates are going to also help uh, with their uh, bottom line. Yeah, I think you're on to something there. Okay, so NKTX got some support. Mm, uh, didn't break down through 11, so we're still nope. waiting this trade out here. Mm -hmm. Nexi, uh, who said that Crow, 16? I, I, I wouldn't doubt it because it, it almost got there earlier. I'll I'll bring it up in another window here so I can keep an eye on it. Sure. I'm going to watch NKTX here, though, see if it goes. Oh, hopefully I didn't just unplug something. Okay. NK, I'm sorry, uh, STAA, still making new highs, very slowly, but still doing it. Uh, CUTR setting up, says WebCoin. That was a, a big runner from earlier. Kind of reclaim the view app. We'll see if it gets the juice here. It's NKTX, got a let's, let's pop and go, NKTX. I just scalped uh, CUTR for a bit there through that view app. Nice. Uh, nice little move I, I through the view app there. Yeah. I don't think I got more than a few cents on it, but it worked. ARDX. Is that still slow for... grind up here? It, it is. And we still have that size at 877, and it's pretty substantial. Okay. It, it, you know, once that volume that that the the whale just comes in and just buys all that up, this thing just goes you know skyrockets. And I don't know when that's going to happen. It could happen soon, maybe happen in the next 10, 5 minutes. But it's worth keeping on your radar. Uh, NKTX might lose eleven here. Looking like it's got some sell pressure there on the level two mm -hmm. as well. As soon as it went uh, under 11, uh, yeah. bought right up. And see, that that's why I don't have a stop set here. I'm just going to mm -hmm. kind of watch it. It's also why I don't want to take it off the screen, by the way. But CYCC says, Jay, take a look at that here. Let me just cue that up in a different window. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah big pop there okay i'll get to that here uh, looks like i'm gonna be stopped out of this one i guess i could just place the stop and then leave <sighs> what nktx yeah no there yeah. we go now we just we just broke now i'll just i'll just do it manually yeah. your first stop is your best stop let's take a look at cyc yeah. that continues to break down here so i'm okay with that all right cycc big pop here on volume like this will push off the view up by the way oh for one there on the day trade that was the first one of the day Smash up the like for my guy 13 here. Also for our sponsor, Trade the Fool. This is the platform that you're seeing here. Awesome prop firm giving you access to a whole bunch of stocks. Easily allows you to get over that 25K PDT rule if that's something that you're struggling with. RxRx, special presentation tomorrow at the JPM conference. Are you bullish on RxRx, Sydney? Looking good here. We actually, maybe we break out of this here. I've got the high 13th. here. 1374 so 1373 excuse me and there's some size yeah. there yeah so that's the right wall to fall it. uh vz i didn't actually look at uh, verizon yet let me take a look at that one because that both of the uh, at&t and verizon uh golden cross recently and that's uh, tends to be a good sign especially well at&t has been you know seeing the 50 go up and below the 200 for a while but verizon Verizon hasn't had that same kind of price action. We've seen uh, the 50 day go through the 200 all the way back in 2001. And now for the first time since then, it's gone up through the 200 uh, day SMA for a golden cross. So I think there's some, that's an indication of some strength that we'll be seeing in the future. 
All right, RXRX pulled off that high here, but don't pull it off the uh, screen completely. Crow calling CUTR. There CUTR. It is. I, I've got, yeah, I've got some odd candles in my three minute, but man, this is pushing higher here. Shout out to Bex who had this really, really early right around VWAP. ARDX, new regular session high. Yeah, new highs here on CUTR and a bit of a pullback there. We'll take a look at ARDX next here. Okay, that so, has been a slow grinder. That's one of the better trades here. That was easy. It's just, it's not all over the place. Yeah, BTBD is is trying to make another push through VWAP. Still needs the volume though. Yeah, volume has really kind of dried off since the open there. That's got me worried on that. Volume tells the story. Mm -hmm. Volume tells the story. CYCC pulled back off that little punch that it had. Tesla, maybe this has started to firm here on Tesla. No position, Did but we maybe hit? we're trading back here. 233. We hit 230. Get you the exact price here. We hit 232.03 on the downside. And I have uh, the 200-day SMA at 230.78. cents. That would be my target for a bounce. ARDX. No. Tesla. Never These mind. bounces on Tesla really don't have any juice. They they trade back up to where it broke down before and then kind of stops there. That's kind of what we've seen all the way down here. We're at that decision point here for Tesla right now. 233.35 just about. Looks like it stopped right there. We'll see if this is it for Tesla. CYCC, maybe we're curling back up here. Didn't quite. Oh, yeah, we did. We pulled right back to the VWAP. Well, I only have one trade working right now, and it's an RXRX. And I'm just trying to play it for this uh, this break of the uh, regular session high from this uh, earlier this morning. Thirteen seventy three. That uh, high here. Nexi almost to. Uh, it's trying to get to fifteen. It's incredible. Great job on Nexi. NKTX, is that uh, moving again? Okay, so it, Nexi it, it, is NKTX. giving us. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say Nexi's given us multiple opportunities over several days here. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. There. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, NKTX, it had something of a bounce at their uh, 65 EMA. Uh, I, I can't say if this is going to go back up above VWAP or not, but it did bounce. Yeah, I look at this chart. And I think your first stop is your best stop, Ryan. I had a plan here. It didn't work out. We're out. We're just going to kind of wait for something here. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how many of you are uh, trading throughout the day, but even yesterday, we were seeing some of the ones that we were trading ended up taking off later on in the day. And it's just a regular thing that happens. So if you're still uh, trading in the day, keep these on your yeah. radar. They these, these will come back around. Just because some of these stocks don't work out early when we're on doesn't mean that they're not going to work out later. We've seen that quite a bit. Mm -hmm. I'm not ready to say NKTX is ready to bounce here. The sell, the selling seems to be slowing, but let's uh, let's wait for that to confirm. I'm probably good on on NKTX for the day here. Well, at least for right now. We'll see what happens later on in the day. Yeah, Crow, absolutely. Power Hour has been, you know, really moving yeah. some of these too. Yeah. yeah, it sure has. And and sometimes when uh everybody in in uh in Wall Street comes back from uh lunch. Lunch, yep. <laughs> we tend to see that uh, kind of move too. Um I thought BTBD was gonna make its move, but got rejected. CUTR might be uh, taking out 473 in a bit if it can get more volume. 
this has been a great one here today. Mm -hmm. CUTR and Nexi, probably the two best plays. How's QS doing? That was wild earlier that, here today, too. It, it came QS, in. Uh, beneath the VWAP hasn't reclaimed yet. Yeah, so that's, uh, that, I think the VWAP reclaim is something to uh, watch uh, if we're going to trade this one. But I'm still waiting for uh, RXRX to make its move through 1373. And we're getting close. Yeah, but we sure are. Just a lot of. We actually. Oh, oh, we might do it. It's 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 going. Here he is, right right there. Let's see if it really gets going here. Yeah, <laughs> that that whole big size left, and then I was like, oh, maybe. But now we have new regular session highs. Is and thirteen seventy five has some size at it here. Mm hmm. Not as big as it was uh, before, but you're right. It, it, there's a nope. pretty, like, we'll call it a hill. Blue room's my favorite bear. Bear down, baby. I'm going to start easing out of RXRX in case it doesn't go. And I will set a stop. CUTR, new regular session highs. I got to say, STAA has just been the slow grinding Goliath today. Just slowly making its way up there. $3 since the open, I believe. Yeah. And it, it continues to get further and further further. It continues to get further and further from the VWAP. Mm -hmm. So it still holds that strength here. All right. Nexi. <laughs> Crow, you're about to get 16, I believe. We might there. You got more than 16 here. Nexi going. God, it's active. Uh, Elon, I uh, got into uh, RX RX because I liked the setup. It uh, was holding VWAP for a good uh, period of time, and then as soon as the nine EMA went through and it kept holding that, I felt it was a good uh, time to enter before we got back up to the uh, regular session highs. And now we're higher than that, so I started easing out once we got there because the volume is pretty low on this. And if we don't have volume, I don't know how high it's going to go. So I started to ease out once I hit that that target. So it was just a, a, a matter of holding certain levels. I like the setup just to be in and out of it. Nexi, big spread here. And a big pull coming here on Nexi. You got to be quick on some of these. Got to be quick on some of these. Is also why you wow. don't chase. Wow, wow, wow with Nexi. QS still breaking down. That yank might have shook some people out. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, yeah, I have nothing working right now. Next, he spread tightened up for a split second there, and it was tempting me, but probably shouldn't. ACAT, that's a new ticker we haven't looked at today. Let's check that out. Nick, good to see you this morning, by the way. ACAT, this has already moved. A cat? A, a, a cat, yeah. Wait, hang on a sec. What, what did I? ACAT. ACET. ACET. I'm sorry. ACET. Okay. Oh, geez. Look at that one. Somebody mentioned this earlier today, right? No, this was the first time I uh, maybe okay. I must have missed it. This was the first time I saw this one. This one's already moving though. <laughs> Wisdom's funny. Wisdom is hysterical. Jay, you still in SSYS? You still holding on to Stratasys here? Actually, if, now that we're now that we're talking about it, now that I brought it up, take a look at this daily chart formation, right? This is the big move down here. We started trading this right in here. 
or I did. I don't know. I don't know where you did. I'm not going to speak for you. Uh, we continued to break down. I was able to add to my position down here. We're now kind of totally curled this up. This in, interesting, right? We kind of formed this little floating area here. I guess you call it a floating island, although technically not, not really. Um, we've broken down. Let's see if we can actually reclaim this. To me, it looks like push up regression back to the mean and hold maybe the next move takes us here 16 or 17 even a misclick there 16 or 17 here on the next up move We'd have to take out what 15 in order to really get that going here ssys you still in this jay still holding my position c4 got back above seven Not as after it uh, after it uh, got support from the 65 ema i would have been stopped out on this anyway because if i decided i wanted mm -hmm. to you know, play on the 65 EMA, I, it would have continued to go down. I probably would have got stopped out, but it looks like this might be coming back. Still a lot of size uh, above it, even all the way to VWAP. So I'd, uh, I'd be careful. I don't know that this one's going to make new highs, but it might. It can be whatever it wants to be. Pre pretty, yeah, yeah, it can. Pretty good formation here on the daily chart. Looking like it's going to try and trade back up and take that out. Good morning, MD. It's good to see you. Hopefully you're having a great day. Go blue. <laughs> We're going to be saying that quite a bit here today. RX, RX, still going. But there's a lot of uh, shares uh, up for sale between 1395 and 14. See you. So RX, RX, that, that broke out here. Crow saying C-U-T-R, taking five any moment. Happy New Year, MD. Hopefully this is a prosperous one for you. I think Crow might be onto something here. Five tests coming. Yeah. See some size at 498, 499. Don't see anything at five yet, but it could just be my ladder not updating. I've got more uh, bids. 10 to 14 gave you a 40% move you had to trim per your rules. Totally get it. Good to hear people are following their rules. That's how you stay green. Yeah, it, yeah, it really is. It, it it really is. And it's a good reminder too, right? Because sometimes we get lost in the sauce, especially if you're watching mm -hmm. some of these that are moving like crazy all over the place. It's like, keep grounded. You have those rules for a reason. Stick with them. Yep. And I'm green today and I've, I've had two uh, trades that weren't winners, but per the rules, still green. I am slightly red today uh, on day trades and slightly red on my swings, but nothing... Um, Nothing crazy. Uh, Ryan, I'm in Washington State, and the Huskies' tears will mix with the rain. Oh, wisdom. <laughs> There's going to be a lot that of tears. Is wisdom with, uh, wisdom is pro professing wisdom. Yeah, yes. There's a reason why he calls uh, himself Tivo, TiVo saying, I always tell myself, go off what you see, not what you think. TiVo, this is very, very relatable uh, to something that I've been kind of dealing with. We, we talked earlier or we've talked recently about you can be wrong, but don't stay wrong. And one of the things you kind of incorporate there is, hey, trade what you see in front of you. Trade the price action. Don't trade your bias. Stick to the script. I like it. Yeah, see, I'm not really looking looking at anything that I want to get in right now. There, Me got either. Lots of lots of really really extended uh, stocks. I mean, Nexi with a high RSI, uh, CUTR with a with a pretty decently high RSI, RXRX with a high RSI. All the ones that I've been trading today have a pretty high high RSI right now. I just want to touch them. And the thing is, is if you don't have a setup, you don't have to, if yeah. you're one of the, if you're like me and you have, you know, you constantly have to be doing something. Sometimes the waiting part of the trade can actually be the hardest little tip that I use there. Use that time to do your research, right? Yeah. If, if you're, if you don't have a trade set up in front of you and you need to be doing something, research some of the longer term plays, review your shopping list in case we do get a prolonged market sell off. What types of things would you like to own for the long term? Not just some of these short term day trades with some people equate to gambling, right? Do, do something where your time is still being used that you can apply later on. Uh, for me, it's research 13. We talk about that all the time. Uh, in in happy hour, you know, do your research, especially on days that don't don't do it for you. Would it be helpful to the uh, the chat? If I mean, I know that this is not live trading, and what I'm about to talk about is more like investing. But would it be helpful to the the chat if I just provided the list of uh, all the long term plays that I have and, and why I'm in them? 
Go ahead and answer 13 there, chat. Uh, let us know if that would be helpful for you. I will say that I'm a big proponent of longer-term investing, uh, swing trading. I know there's a big appetite for that in the in the uh, audience here. I know we kind of get stuck on the day trading because every day is new and there's new issues in front of us and we're constantly looking for all of that stuff. But uh, always a good idea to, you know, kind of keep some of those investments or longer term trades in the uh, on the back burner. 13 if you want to if, if you we're actually going to be finishing up here in just a few minutes. But if you want to do that, I think one of the things that we might want to do is when we got some downtime tomorrow, like when we yeah. when we, after like that opening print, maybe we can roll through some of those the the what you have, the why you have it and the what you're looking for and then mm -hmm. we can kind of go from there. Um Sam says I'll hit the like for that. <laughs> uh, Webcoin says long term smiley face. 13 yeah. sounds so generous. Absolutely wonderful. I can confirm 13 is uh, generous. By the way, 13, little funny story. We were walking to the stadium on Sunday to go to the uh, to go to the Lions game. We're mm -hmm. walking with a group of four of us, and we walk. And Luke points, and he points at this cigar bar. He goes, "That's a really nice cigar lounge, by the way." <laughs> and I was like, "You know what? 13 and I were in there when he came to town." So. Yep. That was a really nice place too. Had yeah, that was great scotch, really nice. Yeah. nice cigar that complimented it. It was a good time, and we were there with uh, with Mike as well. I miss Mike. I gotta I gotta reach out to Mike and see how he's doing. Wish him a happy New Year. Webcoin is ten minutes considered long term. Well, gosh, in some of these markets, Webcoin maybe it is, but no, we're talking about actual overnight holds and. Several week holds. NKTX, good call here. TiVo looks like this might be curling finally. 1040 might have been that spot there. NKTX, remember, this is the one I took a small loss on earlier as we were trying to reclaim the VWAP. We were unable to do that. Your first stop was your best stop. We'll see if we get back up to that VWAP and get another setup here. Yeah, maybe uh, 10 minutes is long term if you're the flash, but no, I'm talking like one year at least. One year. Uh, I, I, I love this. I absolutely love this. Um, today's chase miss is that, did I pronounce that word correctly? I'm not sure I've seen that <laughs> word before. Jay saying, if you don't read a newspaper, you are uninformed. If you do, oh, absolutely. you are misinformed. Good, good old Mark Twain quote there. I fully support that. That's why you got to read as much as you can. Yeah, I'm a huge Actually, we were discussing book recommendations last night uh, during halftime of that game. Got a new one on the way. Should be here today. Uh, Teva, looks like this is coming up off the uh, bottom here. Good call, Jeff Dees. Caleb, just for you, when I get off this show here, I'm going to go grab myself a Celsius. 13, looks like we do have an appetite for some of those longer term plays. Let's put that on the burner for tomorrow. Again, it sure. is 10, 1056 here. We're, 1056, we're actually going to be shutting down. Let's let's go ahead and uh, and wrap this up here for today. This is really good, though. We've got a nice little tease uh, for tomorrow. We've got uh, a plan for if it's not totally active. Of course, when we start out, we'll take a look at the SPY. We'll take a look at some of the other stacks that are moving around. But we will go over some of this list. 13, I'll join you, and I'll sure. go over some of mine as well. Okay. Uh, stick around. I think we got AB coming up here next. I see him over there preparing. So I think we got that next here. Stick around, folks. Uh, 13, I just want to thank you again for, uh, for joining us. Um, blessings to you from Wisdom. I, I know, uh, an audience, I got to say, uh, you folks have been very, very welcoming uh, of 13, very, very I understanding of some of the changes that we're making here. Uh, we both appreciate it. I would yeah. second that. We both appreciate it. Um, so we're going to keep doing that. Again, one of the things that we want to do for you is we want to make this productive for you. So if you folks come up with any ideas where it's like, gosh, I love the show or I dislike the show, this would make it better. Get at us. Let us know. Let me know what that is so I can go ahead and take care of that for you. Um, try to do that. So 13, so, awesome. Go ahead. Sorry to interrupt, but CDIO looks like it's about to go if you guys are still trading it. But uh, sorry, go ahead. Yep. No, all good. So um, we're going to join you here tomorrow. Again, stick around for AB. Really appreciate you folks. Stay green. Happy trading. And we will see you tomorrow. 13, I'm going to get you out of here. We're going to close the screens down. Good luck, folks. Have a good one. May all your trades be